Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for uh, this invitation to the tribute to the great Julian Bream. Dale and I are very proud and very happy to take part in it. Thank you to the uh, New York Guitar Festival for the invitation. Yeah, why do we play a piece by Alexander Borodin, a string quartet? There's a funny story about Julian Bream in 1992. In February, he played here in Iserlohn, Germany, in my hometown, one of his concerts. He actually played three times in Iserlohn. And he even mentioned Iserlohn in his book, A Life on the Road, and mentions it as a town he likes to play because it's small. And even though the concert hall is small, 800 people. <laughs> for him, that was small. For most guitarists today, that is big. Um, yeah, he liked the private atmosphere and the nice atmosphere here in this town. Anyways, in those three days when Julian Bream played here in Iserlohn, he visited me in my house uh, several times. We even played a duet together, uh, Ferdinando Carulli, the duo in A major. And that was the fe first piece I played with Dale in our duo when we started the Amadeus duo actually also in 1992. We started rehearsing in 1991, but we started our first concerts in 1992. Anyways, so Julian Breen was in my house and uh, he was very talkative and uh, we talked about everything, about music, of course. And of course, also about his relationship to John Williams, where um, he had this very, very famous guitar duo uh, in the, well, was it in the 80s? Yeah, 70s, 80s, I don't know even. <laughs> Anyways, it was world famous. Their recordings were milestones. They played the, the main repertoire in the, uh, for the guitar world, for the guitar duo world. And, uh, so they had this relationship, you know, there were different musicians, obviously, um, but they were very su successful. And um, one day, Julian said, you know, one day uh, John Williams came with a transcription of the Brahms sextet uh, in B major. And he said to Julian, look, this I arranged this yesterday and just let's play it. So he put the music on the stand and Julian started to look at it and <laughs> immediately saw, well, <laughs> I cannot sight read this. John Williams is one of the best sight readers in the world, known in our guitar world. So he just played it and, and Julian was struggling and uh, he was really mad in a way. <laughs> Not mad, but a little, a little mad that uh, John would say he arranged this yesterday and just played it like as it was, would be nothing. Anyways, a few weeks later, no, a few months later, they had another rehearsal. And in the meantime, Julian Bream had transcribed the A minor quartet by Franz Schubert, all four movements. And he put the hardest parts of this duo transcription into John Williams' uh, part. So they had the rehearsal and uh, they, they played. And at the end of the rehearsal, Julian said, Ah, John, look, I did this last week. Um, just let's play it. But of course, Julian Bream had practiced it <laughs> all those time. And um, John Williams looked at it and they started playing. And there comes the moment where the especially hard part was uh, put in by Julian. And John Williams played over it like it was nothing. But after playing, while still playing, he said, well, that was kind of hard. <laughs> and Julian Bream was so upset about that <laughs> in a positive way. Anyways, so Julian Bream did also some unusual transcriptions for, for that duo, like the Schubert Quartet, which is not so known. They even recorded it, but it's, it's not one of the most known recordings. Uh, and uh, when Dale and I saw this transcription uh, of this wonderful piece by Alexander Borodin, we thought Julian Bream might have liked that. So 
Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for inviting us to this. And we are looking forward to a lot of great performances of all our fantastic colleagues. Bye-bye.